A SharePoint team site, in reality, is a collection of web pages. There are two different types of web pages for displaying content. Web part pages, which were the predominant page in 2007, and wiki content pages, introduced in SharePoint 2010. Technically, there's a third type of page, known as a publishing page, used mostly in portals and public-facing websites, which we'll look at in detail in a separate clip. First, some definitions. A wiki is a site intended to be modified by many people and is made up of wiki pages. The most popular example of a wiki site is wikipedia.com. In SharePoint 2010, team sites use wiki pages to make it easy for everyone to share and contribute information. For an example of a wiki page, look no further than the team site's home page. This page can display almost any type of content, including free-form text, tables, links, images, and web parts. And like Wikipedia, those with the contributor permission can add or share information on this page. Prior to 2010, the more traditional SharePoint page was known as a web part page. As it sounds, web part pages are used to display web parts, which are pre-designed content components that are connected to lists, libraries, and other components of SharePoint. The web parts are framed by borders or titles and can be added, moved, closed, or reopened as needed. Here's a summary of the differences. Wiki content pages are designed for free-form, rich content, including text, tables, links, and images, and can include web parts. Web part pages are designed for structured, collaborative web part content, including lists, libraries, Microsoft Office data, etc. Wiki pages are stored in the site pages library, while web part pages are stored in different libraries, including site assets, site pages, or the library of your choosing. Wiki pages can be created by site members, owners, and others with a contribute permission, while those with a design or creator permission, including site owners and designers, can create web part pages. And both types of pages can be set as the site's home page. In a separate clip, we'll demonstrate how each of these different web pages are created.